<clears throat> Love boil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. And with that out of the way, hello everyone, happy 30 years of Zelda CDI. As of the recording of this audio, it is September 22nd, 2023, and if you're hearing this, I'm probably dead, tired, working on one of the most ambitious projects I've ever attempted, an interpretation of Morshu for the freeware fighting game engine Mugen, and by extension its open source sister program, Ikem and Go. After entertaining the idea last year to a couple friend groups on Discord, I finally decided to go through with it last June on account of ideas and the lack of polish and quality the characters already on the market have. Professionals have standards. In addition to writing down ideas for a moveset, I started making color palette edits from then on, as it was much easier to do than making actual sprites. Even after having racked my brain on ideas and finally winding down this May, I'm still willing to make more and willing to include contributions once I get a color separated template going. The more shoe, the merrier shoe. Not long after, after some less than successful attempts to make original sprites, I searched far and wide, pardon the pun, for fat fighting game characters to use as reference, such as Pearl Jack from Master's Fury, possibly paired with some sprites of Shrek, Avu from Martial Champion, Natasha from The Eye of Typhoon, and Sean Altley's 1993 movie Mario. I'd probably also edit on the hat of Abin from A Thousand One Spikes from Blade Strangers. Eventually, I settled on the character Battery Kudo from the PS1 game Kakuge Yaro fighting game creator due to their similar girth and the amount of animations at my disposal due to the game's nature. I began ripping the necessary sprites on March 14th this year, finished in May, and began editing the sprites on and off since, interspersed with editing videos, learning to draw after toying with AI art, and living life. So far, I have the idle and walking animations done, which may not sound like much, but coupled with the fact that I'm the only one editing these, and that these are only 12 frames total out of roughly 140, that should put into perspective how much of a massive undertaking this is, especially for someone of my perfectionist nature. That being said, I am willing to accept help from any spriters willing to contribute, so long as you're able to match the style of what I have so far, and that you acknowledge that this will be pro bono work. Despite what you may expect, you will be credited in the README file and the video showcasing everything the character has to offer upon its completion. To answer a few more questions, had I had enough rupees to do so, I absolutely would have commissioned original sprites, and even had a couple names in mind. But maybe until I'm a little... Mm, richer, this will do for now. Second, while sharing some traits with the former, this character will not be in the gameplay styles of characters made by or based on Phantom of the Server or Ohmsby's. Not that that'll stop anyone from editing him into those styles. Be my guest! I don't have a problem with it! Instead, I'm gonna take a swing at making my own playstyle. With blackjack and hookers! And to the relief of the masses, it will not use AI for its voice lines. If you know me, you've seen what I can do with two lines of dialogue. The audio's in good hands. If you have any more questions, you can ask me in the comments or on my Discord server, which I'll open a moving channel on upon this video's release. I hope you look forward to it, and while you wait, go play Arzette the Jewel of Faramore, a spiritual successor to the Zelda CDI games. The more eyes on that project, the better. Thank you for watching. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer.